Hi, this is Lisa with Holland Designs Crochet. I am going to demonstrate for you today the Stitches of Silver Afghan. This pattern was in the 2021 Afghan Club. Um, it's a quite a pretty cabled, textured, um, lattice type blanket. And I'm just going to demonstrate like rows three through five, just to give you a bit of an idea of the stitches that are used and how it's done. So um, I've just made a swatch here. Um, so it's just a small section. And all my blanket patterns are written so that they're made to measure. You can um, use yarn and hook of choice, make them to any size. So even with this pattern, you could use this to make a dishcloth or a scarf or, again, a blanket of any size. So I've already started, and I've done um, rows one and two. And row one was single crochets and then some sets of double crochet. So two double crochets together. You can see those stitches there, double crochets. And then row two was simply single crochet across. And I've started here row three, and I just did three single crochets to begin. And now we're gonna be doing two front post double crochets. And on row three, we work a twist on this row. So rather than working them in a normal order across, we're doing um, the opposite. We're gonna do this one first, and then we're gonna go and do the second, this uh, first one that we're gonna skip. So I'll just show you how that's done. So we're skipping that first front post double crochet, and we're gonna work into the second one or around the post of the second double crochet, and we work that first front post double crochet. And then we are going back and working around the one that we skipped. So we just go back and work a front post double crochet around that first double crochet. So we've got the same stitch count. We've worked two stitches and it's twisted. And then we are skipping the single crochets which are behind. So the next two single crochets are being skipped. And then we're working in the next four single crochets across one, two, three, and four. And once we do those, we have again come to the double crochets and we will again work our twist. So we work the front post double crochet around the second double crochet and then we work in around the first one. Okay, so that is how we are working row three. I'll just show you again, skip the next two single crochets and then continue with the next four. And I will, next I will show you how row five is worked. Okay, I have finished rows one through four. So you can see the twist there that was done on row three. And then I've done row four, which is just single crochet. So all the even rows on this pattern are just single crochet. So row five now, we begin with two single crochets and we are shifting the placement of the single crochets and the post stitches, which is we're gonna create a widening here. So we've worked two single crochet and now we're gonna work a front post stitch around this first front post double crochet. And then we are skipping the single crochet here at the back. So we skip one. And then we are working a single crochet in the next two single crochets of row four. And then we are gonna finish up and go ahead and do our front post double crochet around that second stitch. You can see how that has widened the, the cable there. And then we are going to again skip one single crochet at the back and we will then be working a single crochet in the next two single crochets. So if you remember on row three we had four between. Now we're, on this row we're just going to have two single crochets between. And so then we will just continue and do that all the way across the row. Um, working our post stitches and creating that widening, that lattice or sort of a diamond effect. Um, skip the one at the back, work single crochet in the next two, and front post around the second one. So um, on this pattern, 
every row, the stitch count remains the same. And so we're not increasing or decreasing stitches. We're simply shifting the placement um, to create that lattice or that diamond effect. And as you continue with the pattern, it'll be exactly the same. It'll simply tell you um, how many stitches to either skip or work as we're going to be, again, widening on the next uh, pass when we go through and do the cabling again on row 7. This will be widened to four stitches here. And then these two, um, these two cables here will actually end up meeting up. So you can create that, that diamond effect. So um, hopefully this is helpful to you and gives you some basic understanding of how this pattern has worked. And I'll show you just briefly the back of the blanket. So all you see there are little ribbed lines where there are skipped single crochets. And it's quite a, it's a pretty simple texture on the back as well. So hopefully you'll find this helpful.